Top Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry from Bell of Souls with Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. And we're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. Evan, yep. this is all in German, I can't read this. Uh, <laughs> this is Maduris. Nice. It's half in German, half in English. It's true. Uh, yes, they have, they have both for you. Uh, but yeah, this is the new game from Habit. Okay. Uh, and Hab is an interesting company because they usually they're well known for making kids games. But okay. Recently, they decided to get into the family game business. All right. Uh, so this is one of the new family games that they've made. It's a beautiful game. It's a resource management uh, management game. I okay. Can't, can't wait to show it off. Yeah, yeah. It looks pretty interesting. It, I, it is actually it has English rules yes. in there too. It's so. German first because it's from Germany. Yeah. But yeah. then it also has English. Uh, I, you know, they have some pretty cool games over there, so uh, a lot of the European games that have come oh, out. Oh yeah. So I'm, I'm Germans sure. are really good at banking board games. Yeah. Let's yeah. take a look inside. Maduras. Maduras time. Yes. Like rough dur Druid. I'm sorry, that's my German. I don't da, know. Da. That's Russian. <laughs> what, what is your ya? Yeah? Ya? Ya? Nine? Nine is no, I know that one. All right, <laughs> flip it over. Here's the back of the box. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so one of the things I like. Oh, that is cool. it does this thing, uh, it has like a graph. It just shows you how much like luck, simplicity, strategy, uh, attention uh, is required, and replayability of the game. So it's a, it's like a, a yeah, it's like a stat grid, and you yeah. can tell this game has a lot of replayability. Yes, it requires a lot of attention, and requires a lot of strategy. Yes, which is cool. It's, and it's pretty light, semi -sim simple. It's, yeah, it's not going to be the most simple game. It's light on the luck. And yeah, the simplicity. Uh, but the reason that they probably put simplicity is down low is because they're used to making like kids games and stuff like okay. that. So this is kind of this is kind of more complex than the most games. Okay, it's not that complex of a game once you get into it. Once you understand it, but like I like how it says here too. It's like ten to ninety nine. So yeah. if you're over uh, hundred years old, you're done. You're done. But uh, two to four players as yes. well. Mm -hmm. um, also, it does come in English, even though the box. Is yeah, I mean, it's German. just German here. It's gonna be German first. It's kind of like um, what's that game? Uh, well, I'm not gonna remember. Yeah, it's an Italian Italian game. But like, it, it, oh, bang. Bang, yes, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's, yeah. it's Italian first, and then it has also English yeah. under that. So, yes, you can play. Here are the rules. Oh, that's cool. Uh, here's something cool. So on the rule sheet, it's not just in English or germ. Oh, wait, no, it is. Okay. Wow, uh, check this out. It's got, like, this little thing. It's, like, all of the pieces. Sorry, I just want to show that off. That's cool. <laughs> uh, but here's the just, like, a breakdown of the rules, and it shows you what colored pages do or what. Okay. So that's nice. Um, nice. And we'll go over the rules here yes. in a moment. Oh, okay, this is the That's German. That's the German version. Yes. We'll go over those. Yeah, yeah. Not... We'll go over those for the German uh, people watching. We won't. Uh, we won't. No, sorry. <laughs> here's some punch outs. These are the temples. Uh, oh, those and are cool. So they, they kind of like put them together and they're 3D. Oh, okay. So there's, there's actually two temples uh, okay. here. Yeah, uh, it shows right, right here. here. Yeah. yeah. Um, four different colors. There's red, green. Or is that lime green? I don't know. Uh, blue or teal and then purple. I like these runes. These are the runes. Those will, you can, you can get those through the map. I'll show you how. These are, are, they, are these for the back, real quick, too. Yes. So yeah, okay, seven. yeah. These are the resources right here, Whoa. and then these are just some random tokens. I want to point out something. So the resources are, uh, I think, cotton, gold, wood, and stone. The gold, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see, but it's, it's actually shiny. shiny. Yeah, which is a really cool touch. They didn't have to do that, but they did, and it's a really cool That's touch. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, a lot of times you just see make it yellow or something. Yeah, like exactly. It, that is That is actually really cool. It's like a candy wrapper. Yeah, it's cool. And these are front and back as front well. Front and back as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. This is the map. This is a big map, so we might have to zoom out a bit for this. We'll see what we can do here. Uh, da, da, da. The map has two sides. One side's for two players, the other side's for, I think, three to four players. Not most of the board in here, you can kind of see. Yeah, it's a beautiful board. So they wow. have this mountain range in here. Each resource has, has their own, I guess, Pie. pizza slice. Yeah. Um, and then there's the... Around these, we're going to build the temples and the houses. Okay. Which show off. Uh, this is the point tracker on the very edge. See, this is the bottom. This one starts at what, 50, 60 down here? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, 50 to 75 from right there. So each side is going to have 25. 25 points. on there. Uh, each game, you start off with five, uh, which you can't really see because I'm pointing, but yeah. Uh, start off here at five. So, and then over here on these tiles, let's show off the other pieces real quick. These are wooden, I want to point I out. I want to point out, too, like you said, they are, it is front and back, so there's yeah. two sides. Yeah. Like I mentioned. So I'll move this out of the way. These are wooden. Uh, we don't have to take them out of the bag, but they're nice, they're wooden, they're colored. Uh, they're you, have, you have your die, which I also want to point out. Uh, when you get to the gold part, it's also shiny. Shiny. That's cool. 
Uh, you have the druid, which I'll talk about in a second. You have your houses, and then uh, you have your workers. meeples, meat workers. This is a resource yeah. management game. Uh, you are collecting resources, and then you're building either a house or a temple to get points. Okay. Uh, and the houses or temples, if you just want to bring that over folded. Yeah. Uh, houses and temples go on these squares, and it okay. costs that. However, if someone already built another one, it's going to cost more. So uh, oh. on this section, uh, so it's it's just about where you want to go first and how. And much those runes match though. Yes. Okay. Also, this gold is shiny too. Okay. Oh, that's so shiny. Uh, the box also comes with baggies. Always oh, we nice. We love that. Yeah. Uh, great little that's, baggies. Yeah. Yep. These are oh these are the kind of like the DM screens. Oh, little player uh, screen. Yeah. So it's gonna. Set, the you reason they do off? that. Yeah, you can slide that off. All right. So it slides off there. There we go. Uh, and let's show off the inside. Yeah, so we've got player screens. One, right. one, I think these are for each color, right? Yeah, there's four of them. Four for yeah. each player. Yeah, okay, these are the same. All right, here you go. Let's just It'll, it's a cheat sheet on the inside, but also it's to keep your resources hidden. A little hidden. Uh, so people don't know how much stone or how much gold you have. It's all hidden. So it's not an open uh, knowledge game. No, no, it's uh. not. Uh, it, how it also works is when you're going to get resources, you're going to put your meeple in the resource area. Okay. Uh, if you are the first the person, you get that, and then you roll a die. Uh, if you you can, then they stack on top of each other. Not yours, but everyone's. Oh. So if you also want, to, if your opponent wants to go there, you stack his on yours on top. Whoever's on the top gets the most, and then even going down gets the least. Uh, so whoever's on top gets the most resources. When you roll the die, you're gonna do that effect. Everyone, if you roll like the gold, everyone in the gold area gets their gold. If you roll plus one for everything, everyone gets one uh, point. If you roll minus one, everyone loses a point. Okay, but it just kind of explains again how the, how the scoring works. Exactly, it's yeah. cheat sheet mm -hmm. for you, final scoring. And again, they have really cool art on the Oh front, yeah, it's cool. So I like that. She's giving him the cotton. Yeah. It's important. All right. Uh, the game length, uh, so there's the druid, he starts in one of the corners of the map, if you want to slide that yep. over, and he's going to actually, uh, he starts, ooh, doo, 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 where is it, doo, 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 zero right here, right here, he starts here, uh, once ever, once someone builds something, whether a temple or a house, he moves down one until he gets here, and then he's going to go around, he's going to uh. go around twice, the game length is twice around, Okay. once he passes this, uh, river, uh, everyone who has runes gets points. So that's what the runes are for. Um, so he's gonna pass that river twice. Okay. Uh, and that's basically it. I mean, it's not a complicated game. There's more to it, but I just yeah, yeah. But it's it's all about the resource management and yeah. and, mm -hmm. and uh, the timing and everything like that. So the board is beautiful. The yeah. pieces are nice. The art works pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's a good game. Yeah, uh, and I mean, like that's everything in there. We like to show off. Yeah, nothing else. Nothing else in the box. Yes. All right, this is very cool. Let's uh let's cut real quick and then take a look at the rules. So here are the rules for mm -hmm. Maduris. Again. It's not a super complicated game. No. The rule book's full color, which looks really cool. Just gonna go over all of the um, components for you real quick. Yeah. Um, the the core Layout. mechanics of the game are just like Evan was saying. You're going to obtain minerals, you're gonna build huts, you're gonna build temples, and then you're gonna make offerings to the druid yes. and get points. That's mm -hmm. pretty much it. Uh, that's you know, just the layout. <clears throat> this is gonna go over the gameplay. And again, it's Ooh. it's kind of a cool rule book. I wanna yeah, show this off that's where a it great like, folds book. out. So, and it goes over how the dice work and everything like that too. Uh, this is small yield, uh, this is the big yield. So basically as the game advances in time, the way the, um, uh, the druid moves around, you right. eventually go from the small yield to the big yield. So, Interesting, okay. Um, that's all that stuff. And then it just is gonna go over more of the explanation we saw in the, um, in the little cheat sheets. Right. It's just gonna go deep dive into all of those special rules yeah. and things like that. So there's no confusion there. Um, here's the here's the finale. How how that all works. How do you actually receive runes and how to score those points? Everything's explained. Uh, here you go. And then a really quick rules brief. And again, yeah, it's only 15 pages of rules, but it's really not that complicated. And a lot of these are in the uh, the, the player screens yeah. as well, so that's nice too. Yeah, and it talks about how to score the temples and the runes and yeah. stuff like that. So, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I, I, again, I like these little resource management games, mm -hmm. and this one looks really cool. I like the theme of it. I like yeah. The, I, like, like, I appreciate the look of it, too. So, um, yeah, cool stuff. Very cool stuff, yeah. yeah. That's all for this. Let's hop out for a really quick recap. Well, that was Maduris from Have a Games. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool looking stuff, man. Yeah. I really like the uh, the board. Look awesome. Yeah, and the pieces are beautiful. Yeah. The gold little chips with the shiny. Yeah, 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 yeah. The really well made pieces. Mm -hmm. I also really like the fact that each player has their own little you know little DM, DM screen. screen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, <laughs> it's great. It's fun. Uh, let's crunch the numbers on this bad boy real fast. What's the price point on the dress? It's forty nine ninety nine. So okay. basic board That's game pretty price. Standard. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, it's ages 10 to 99, which I thought was funny. Yes, if, if you're, you're 100 years old, old, you're done. You're done. You can't, you can't play it anymore. Nope. <laughs> it's around 75 minutes game time. Yep. Uh, and it's two to four players. Two to four players. Yeah, so pretty cool stuff. If you're looking for a, a pretty fun game, and mm -hmm. I love the, that little diagram we showed off on the back with like the... Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's not not really a, a, a luck game. Right. There's some luck involved. But there's, there's a lot of strategy. There's yeah. a lot of replayability. Uh, yeah. And it tells you right on the board. So. Yeah. Pretty cool stuff. Go check it out. This is a new and in stores. Yes. Right new for us in America. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> it's new and in stores right now, so go check it out. I'm Adam Harry from Bell Souls. I'm Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics Fantasy. And this has been another Table Toss Spotlight. Thanks again for watching. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching.